Hey, welcome back to our channel and today we got a new video for you. So in our video today, we're talking Atmos. This is Atmos Render from uh, Studio One. This is their integrated renderer. Um, it's nice because it pulls up as a big plugin like this, but it also collapses down to a side panel here where it shows you all of your metering and your outputs and your volume. Um, it shows you kind of your typical renderer here where you've got a 3D view of what you're doing along with your bed formats, your output formats. Um, it's got some other stuff that's underneath. Um, you have a bed meter, which is nice, along with your output meter and kind of also gives you various uh, loudness, LUFS, LU, um, EBU, I'll probably stick it, keep it in LUFS, um, but that's kind of your renderer. And we've been playing this for a few, for a few days here, so it's been kind of fun. Um, but you can also uh, pull up the panner, and this is the surround panner that's on the channels here. Um, and it kind of shows you your left and right and kind of your balance. Um, the arrow kind of shows you which side, which speaker you're pointing it at, you know, and then the left, right is like how wide or how narrow that object might be. And then the bottom is your kind of top to bottom. Like here's very top in the center, like directly above you. And then it kind of goes out from there and you can kind of, as you spread inward, you kind of see it, it correlates. Um, you have a center channel. You can, you can change how loud that is along with your LFE. If you have your LFE enabled, you can also disable your center channel. Um, usually if I go to balance and I go, um, I can't remember exactly where to get to the LFE. You can turn the LFE on and off here and I can't remember. Oh, it's right here where it says LFE. So if you want LFE, you want your channel to go there, you can, or if not, it's fine. Um, we've been doing this with our Apple earbuds, which has been an interesting experience. And maybe we'll do a video on that. I don't know. Uh, but also just so you remember, uh, this software is not very expensive. Like I think you can do the subscription for like 20 bucks a month, or you can buy it outright and still have this options. Uh, I think the buyout is like three, 400 bucks anyways. Um, or if you have a version you're updating, you can update, I think like 150, you can update for any version. So, uh, We've been playing with it for a few days and might switch to it. Uh, once our studio is done downstairs, uh, we're kind of doing some construction down there where um, we're changing desks and a couple different things in IO. But look out for more videos like this as we play along with Studio One and do more, maybe some Atmos mixing and rendering uh, via the, the render. Um, I think it's a cool option to have this open. You could pretty much just record with all this set up like this and then just start mixing Atmos. And then you're like, oh, well, we'll start in stereo and then, okay, we got the stereo kind of done. Okay, we'll switch to binaural, we'll render the binaural. There might be a way to render all the different formats at once. I don't know exactly, but we're gonna keep playing with it and see what happens. Um, let us know what you think about this in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and you know what we'll see you next time go make some music